5G Rural First is a collaborative project co-funded by the UK government with the aim of using new 5G strategies and technologies to deploy mobile wireless connectivity in rural areas. While many of us live in areas of extensive and pervasive connectivity in cities, in many of these rural areas across the world, connectivity is not always so well provisioned, or indeed many places it actually doesn't exist at all. So hence the name and intention of this project is 5G Rural First. Working with Parallel Wireless as a key partner, we're investigating and deploying new RAN technologies alongside 5G efforts, and at the same time considering new business models as part of our 5G roadmap in this project. Parallel Wireless is one of our key partners, and they're delivering and integrating their radio access network, or RAN, and their heterogeneous network, or HetNet gateway, across the project's main testbed locations. Overall in the project, there's 29 partners ranging from tier one corporates, SME tech companies, university research teams, local councils, and of course a number of use case developers. We believe actually it's the most ambitious collaborative 5G rural trial testbed in the world. Cisco Systems is the project lead and University of Strathclyde is leading the design and the implementation of the radio access network. Of course, we're working very closely with Parallel Wireless in this RAN and demonstrating dynamic and shared spectrum alongside the enhanced mobile broadband. There are three main RAN testbed locations. One is in the very north of Scotland on the remote Orkney Islands, where 5G Rural First is operating a, a test and development mobile network using the Parallel Wireless RAN. There's also two locations in rural England where agricultural 5G use cases are being tested and again working with the parallel wireless hardware. We also have our 5G NGA core from Cisco operating at uh, the Data Vita data centre and that's near Glasgow down in central Scotland. The parallel wireless RAN in Orkney is providing uh, key zones of coverage within the island's 2,000 square kilometres. So the network build and design challenge is pretty significant, both in terms of our coverage predictions, filling not spots, structuring backhaul, and of course managing our high-speed connectivity back to the Cisco 5G NGA core, which is some 200 miles away, again near Glasgow. The project's utilizing the Faroese Telecom Schiffer 2 submarine optical fiber cable. Now that links Iceland via the Faroe Islands, then to Shetland and Orkney Islands in the North Sea, and then landing on the Scottish mainland. The vision of 5G Rural First is about actually being 5G ready. And while the project has got a very clear roadmap to 5G new radio, our project really is about 5G new thinking. And realizing that 5G is not just an evolution of uh, 4G, it's a new and different generation. There's new ideas, there's new technologies, there's new strategies, there's definitely new business models. And we know that Parallel Wireless is on a mission uh, to help connect the next 4 billion unconnected people and reimagine the architecture of a mobile uh, or cellular infrastructure. So working with the rest of the team on 5G Rural First, Parallel Wireless's NEG solution is demonstrating that we can deploy easily and cost effectively to serve a range of enterprise, community or even private networks beyond our cities. In deploying the Parallel Wireless HetNet Gateway software platform, we can disaggregate hardware and software, creating a unified architecture that can operate with 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G systems, something Parallel Wireless are calling OG support. So this abstraction of RAN and core network can run in a commercial off-the-shelf server and results in Parallel Wireless embedded network being able to allow interoperability with RAN equipment from other vendors. So hence allowing a managed evolution and just a continuous upgrade of the network. So the use of the Parallel Wireless HetNet Gateway has brought excellent flexibility to the 5G Rural First project. So for example, the test and setup of the HetNet Gateway was on the Orkney Islands, and then once we'd done that initial setup and test was complete, uh, the connection was just uh, made to the Data Vita core near Glasgow, unplugged the HetNet Gateway, drove it back down 200 miles to Glasgow, and reconnected in the new housing at the Data Vita data center. So this is something that was seamless, simple, and very affordable.
The project is exploring how new 5G technologies can allow new business models to create new networks and demonstrate end-to-end -end use cases utilizing super-fast enhanced mobile broadband, ultra-low latency communications, and supporting massive IoT connectivity. All the things that 5G technology is heralding. The features of parallel wireless headnet gateways, introduction of network slicing, and a control and user plane separation, or so-called CUPS, on the Cisco core, we're making an effort to bring new thinking and design to rural areas first. Now, one of the key project demonstrators will be based around the parallel wireless RAN on the Orkney Islands, where we're setting up a demonstration of an incumbent mobile network and showing how in rural and remote areas, dynamic and shared spectrum can make a real difference. Of course, we need to think also about the new business models or partnerships with incumbent service providers to access any unused or indeed uh, underused spectrum with appropriate sharing mechanisms. This is again just part of what the project sees as 5G new thinking. With many billions of the world's population still unconnected by either mobile or fixed access, it's usually down to costs and the economics for service providers to deliver coverage and bear the cost of backhaul, housing and facilities, and of course provision of electrical power. Add to this the costs of installation, maintenance, and the rural and remote deployments usually run at a loss, or often run at a loss. But as we are demonstrating in 5G Rural First, parallel wireless technology can deliver coverage to these areas by making deployments easier, very affordable to install, and affordable also to maintain. So with the NEG solution strategy, the parallel wireless multi-technology coverage solution has cut the need for planning applications and fixed backhaul infrastructure by using any hall. Parallel wireless software brings 5G-like capabilities to all the Gs, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. So we're looking for low latency, slicing, parallel wireless orchestration, provides real-time optimization and network automation. So it can be demonstrated that reducing the maintenance costs and enabling new business cases with a software-based architecture can provide professional service providers or perhaps community best effort networks with operational simplicity and the business agility needed to excel in the new digital economy, regardless of where someone lives, be it rural or even a busy urban environment. Parallel wireless software layers uh, help to facilitate interoperability between different vendors and on this project, we've got four other vendors with various disaggregated radios for shared spectrum mobile and also for fixed wireless access deployments. The really great thing has been that the parallel wireless software is 5G ready. So as we deploy 4G LTE now, we have the clear roadmap and have deployed a network that could be switched to 5G when suitable user equipment for use cases is available. And it's all done with a simple software upgrade. So that's one of the advantages of working the parallel wireless way. So it's all about rural and taking clear note of the communities, industries and requirements in these locations. So in Orkney, for example, we're setting up IoT connectivity from fish farms to wind farms. We're connecting Legionella sensors. We're supporting tourism with mobile connectivity and tourist bus routes. We're even providing connectivity and augmented reality apps or the world heritage sites like the 4,000 year old Ring of Brodgar standing stones. We're also running a 4G broadcast trial in linear radio with the BBC. And then of course, uh, communities will benefit from plain old connectivity at high speeds, showing the benefits of enhanced mobile broadband. Down in Shropshire and Somerset in rural England, it's about demonstrating agri-tech. So we've got flying connected drones, we've got hyperspectral imaging of crops, we've got low latency, high resolution video for vets, and we've got IoT monitoring of livestock and more. So for our project consortium, it's again 5G Rural first. Using solutions such as the highly deployable and flexible parallel wireless RAN and HetNet Gateway, we have a network ready 5G next generation connectivity. And we're aiming to demonstrate lower and more affordable CapEx and OpEx for rural communities and businesses. So it is exciting times to be in this project and it is a pleasure to work with the likes of Parallel Wireless. A company is really making things happen, one rural network at a time.